Hello, it's Sarah. I today I'm making a bracelet. I have oh, here's my phone. So I have the rose gold iPhone. I have I just got my iWatch, which is also in the rose gold uh sorry, I pushed a button I didn't want to push. <laughs> anyway, um the the I guess it's aluminum and it's just in the rose gold uh, coloring. I have a pink band, but see even the clasp is rose gold. I have, this is a little um, origami owl bracelet that I have with a little rose gold wings on it. And it's not quite the color, but then I just ordered these beads from Art Beads. Art Beads is a great online source. And the, all this stuff was about 22 bucks. Well, 20 bucks with two dollars for shipping. But I had a bracelet that I loved and it broke and I lost some beads. Um, I'm going to do it on an elastic. This is 0.7 millimeter um, beading elastic. Strong and stretchy uh, bead and jewelry cord. It's a bit thick and I thought I had a smaller one. but I ha Oh, here it is. I knew I had a smaller one. This one's much thinner. This is a 0.5 millimeter um, because I'm just not sure that all these beads will um, where I'm going to use the thinner one. So I'm going to go with the thinner one and it's still just as strong. Uh, I didn't order that. I ordered these are considered their rose gold Skrofsky, uh pearls. These are a six millimeter round crystal rose pearl. So I'm going to use those. Um, I didn't order those. I ordered these. These are tube beads. They're a 1.5 by 6 millimeter tube bead. Square tube bead in sterling silver. I ordered, these are 4 millimeter copper plated pewter daisy spacers. So these are actually copper colored because they didn't have any rose gold. But see, this is, um, I got this bracelet Valentine's Day and it has little rose gold accents on it. See the love and the hearts. So I'm kind of playing with that color because not all rose gold is, is, is the same. This actually totally looks like this. So they're considering it copper. But this is very um, fine. It's not this is more coppery to me than rose gold. So then I ordered these. These are fire polished beads. These are only two millimeters and they're opaque rose gold topaz luster. So this is an, um, it's not a, it's a check polished bead. And I don't know if I love them. I, this is why I, I grabbed my silver because I'm doing it in two tone anyway. Um, so I'm just going to start stringing. Now I have, this is just, I think it's like a, a velour mat. Um, I think I got that at Michael's or probably Joanne's, I think. But I also have, and it's out of the shop, but I have this other beading tray and it has uh, numbers so that I can measure. I'm a seven inch bracelet usually. I like about a seven inch. So I have, I wrote numbers on here. So here's seven inch. So I'll just keep that in mind as I go. And I think, Kiwi's here with me. Hi Kiwi. I think, let me just cut these apart or snip it. They're so tiny. But I think I want to do a tube. Where do you think you're going, huh? You're not getting my beads. Um, see, I was going to do one of these. Let's just see what it looks like. And then one of these on either side of the pearl, which I hope I ordered enough. See, that's always the, the way, isn't it? I don't know if I ordered enough. So I'm going to do one of... These are um, daisy spacers. They're one of my favorite spacers. Oh, I like it. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to put it with another, and then I'll zoom in and see how it looks. 
because I wasn't too sure if the hole of this tube I think it looks good I like it all right let's see I'll come in so this is what I'm looking at right here that's the design so it's very it's just two-tone because I'm going with the silver and because this is what I have so that's what I thought I'd do is two-tone now my other bracelet that I had was regular colored pearls which I had them out a minute ago because I wasn't sure and I have some of these just um, AB Swarovski these are um, four millimeter Swarovski crystals with the AB coating on them and I love those oh see so here's just a regular pearl colored bead which so that'll match everything you know but I figured I'd give this a shot and see what I thought and I think it's going to look cool with my watch. So even if I don't wear <clears throat> the bangle uh, or the charm bracelet, this one's going to be so easy to just throw on because that this is actually my favorite kind of bracelet to make is a stretchy bracelet because they're so easy to take on and off. You don't even know they're there. You don't have to worry about clasping it and uh, you get you get a really cute look I've gotten so many compliments on um, elastic or what are they called stretchy stretchy bracelets so that looks cool I like these I think the other two beads I had which I couldn't find them I think they were actually um, they might have been square but then they twisted them they were twisted so they had like a a twist look to them but i like it i think it's going to be neat let's see i think it's going to be cool but it's kind of neat to have um a square because it's got a high polish on it can you see what i'm doing because it's you know flat it's got a high polished area so where am I? I'm going to do check. And these aren't, I don't know. I wonder, let me get my silver bead. You know what we'll do on this one? I want to try a couple with this and, we'll, and I'll choose. I'll decide which one I want. These are just, I don't even know if these are in the right bag. Nope, and I ripped the tag off. I get beads all over the place and then I just keep them in here or in this type of thing. So, um... I can't tell you exactly where I got these. These probably are a three millimeter. Well, let's see. Those are two. The check beads are two, but I think I don't think I've ever ordered two millimeter beads. See, well, we'll see. Let me finish. I don't want to jump the gun. Sorry, I'm a little fumbly. Um, probably overdid it today. I went for. The 5K that I'm doing is going to be next Saturday. So I ran three miles today and I did great. Um, then, of course, I did yard work, which we just did out by the pool. It's not very nice here in New Jersey. It's been a weird May, you guys. And also, I have to get my art journal page up for May. But anywho, um, I did all the weeding around the pool and oh I kind of like this I think I like this better we'll see let me do all right everything's getting all mixed up I think got I gotta do one more <laughs> I can't decide I making decisions is my hardest thing but anywho, um, a lot of bending and, you know, weeding. It's like, but I, it looks so nice. I did the whole pool. So, of course, I overdid it. And I used the, um, the leaf sucker thing and sucked up all the leaves by the fence. And it looks so nice now. So, and then tomorrow we'll spray like a weed spray. And that's it. And my yard is pretty much done. I did all the porch um, baskets I still have a few planting things to do 
um, by the pool, like pots. I hang pots um, out by the pool. And, uh, all right, let's see. Wow, I can't tell. Because you know what? The little, the balls are, are so similar in size, you can't really see them. I don't know. Who is it? Just me. All right, Maya, I'm making a video. What? I'm making a video. Man, I can't decide. I think I like, um, I love the high polish. I wonder if I have a bigger size of that or a gold bead. Um, you know what? I was thinking just using a regular gold, not rose gold, and then it would like be three tone, you know, because my jewelry, like this is two tone because I have yellow gold and then white gold, which is filthy. <clears throat> I can't make decisions, but I'll go away and come back and I'll show you how I knot it. All right, I'm all done. And I actually cut the um, the elastic really short. I had, instead of turning it around, anyway. So don't do that. Don't cut your elastic until you're finished and just bead in one direction. I changed the design a little bit, but I'm basically just gonna really hope not to drop this and make a knot, just a knot, like a normal, I don't know what it would be called, you know, uh, First you go once, once, and I have my, um, where is it, my glossy accents, and I'm going to put a dab of it on the knot, on a little bit of the, and then I'm just going to pull it tight. And you can do how many ever um, times around you want to, but I feel like that's going to be strong enough. I'm not going to pull it yet, but see I like the design. So I decided to, I added the silver bead in between the check bead and the silver bar. So I like it because it, it pulls the silver through. It's not just a clump of rose gold. So, and I'm a seven inch bracelet, I told you, and this is going to be around, a, it was around a seven and a half so, but that's still fine. Now let's see if it, see, that's good. So I'm gonna trim the ends. And put it on. I love it, OMG. I like it. All right, so there's a lot going on right here, but I'm gonna take this one off. Since it's, because I could wear these two together I can wear these two together, or these three together, or just these two. So I like it. See, this is two tone, so that's how it goes with. But I'll end up, let me take this one off. Kiwi is playing with my earring. Stop, Kay. Because I'll bet you, here's what I'll bet you happens for the most part. Because this is so easy to take on and off, this will be what I end up throwing. When I put my watch on, this will just go with it. Because it's so easy and it's, it's not going to hook on anything or, you know. And it's a 7 inch, so it's not, I mean, I think it fits pretty good. I'm happy. So that's how simple it is. 20 bucks and I have a customized bracelet that matches my iWatch. All right, you guys, I'll put the link for um, for art beads in the description box so you can play around and make your own. And that's it. Thanks for watching.